What we have here is an example candy store spreadsheet showing sales by store and by candy type. One of the more common tasks we complete in Excel is adding up figures and data. As a reminder, the shortcut to do this for the unit sold or quantity in Excel would be to highlight the entire column, click Alt plus equals on your keyboard, and Excel will display the total for you. One cool tip is that when you're using a table in Excel, it will also display a dropdown so you can change the value you're looking for if desired. However, in our case, we don't want to total up all the sales. We want to know the totals based on at least two factors. In this case, the candy type and the store name. This is where the sum ifs function comes in. This formula allows you to select two or more criteria so that you can easily search for the needed value based on multiple variables. To begin, let's look at how the formula works on its own. I'll begin by typing in some ifs. First, Excel is looking for the sum range. For this, I'll highlight the entire quantity column. As another quick tip, we only have a few rows here in this spreadsheet, but if, for example, you add a few hundred or a few thousand rows to highlight the entire column, you can click the top cell and use the key combination control shift down to highlight the entire column. We'll enter in a comma, and now Excel is looking for the criteria range. For this first, I'll enter in the store name, another comma. Now Excel is looking for criteria one. This is asking which store would I like Excel to find the sum for. I'll click the cell for Baron Snacks. As another tip, you don't have to click the cell here. You could enter Baron Snacks in quotation marks and that would achieve the same result. Another comma, now criteria range two is candy type. One final comma, and this time I'll show you how it works when you're typing it out using quotations. So let's use Taffy as an example. We'll close parentheses and click enter. Notice that Excel was able to find the correct total by looking in column one for Baron Snacks and then column two for Taffy. Now let's take this to another level. Below where I just entered the formula, I have another table created with dropdowns I made for store name and candy type. Let's choose Candy Shack, and for candy type, let's choose Gummies. I'll have a link in the description for how to create dropdowns as a reference if needed. Now for products sold, let's enter the formula again, but this time for the criteria, I will enter in the cells where the dropdowns are located. We will enter some ifs, the sum range is the same as before, quantity, one comma, criteria range, we'll enter the store. And for criteria number one, we're going to enter the cell with the store dropdown. For criteria range two, again, it's candy type. And for criteria two, the cell with the dropdown for candy type. Close parentheses and hit enter. You'll notice just like before, Excel is giving me the correct result. But check out what happens when I change the dropdown to Baron Snacks. Now the table dynamically updates based on the new criteria, Baron Snacks and Gummies. If I change candy type to Taffy, you'll notice that updates as well. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the sum ifs function. Please like and subscribe and leave comments about additional tips you would like to see covered.